Okay, to get started, there's a few things we need. We need a computer with internet access and the ability to install programs on it. You need the Pro Plus tool and you need the OBD2 module and you need the cable that connects them to the computer. And we'll start off by opening up your internet browser. So we're going to go to this, the home page, which is smartsensorupdate.com, and either log in or register if you don't have an account. I have an account. I'm going to go ahead and log in. If you can't remember your password or you don't have an account, you can register here or click on the forgot password link and enter your email address. I'm just going to go ahead and log in. Okay, so this is the main dashboard. You'll see you have your tool registrations at the bottom, however many tools you have on your account. And we're going to see the current version, which at the time of making this video is 2.8, but it actually is 2.9 now. The OBD2 module version number. And this big blue button that lets you download the updater. So let's go ahead and click on that. We want to save ProPlusUpdater.zip to your computer. It doesn't matter where. When you just click OK, it saves it to the downloads directory. Fast forward. When that's all done, you will go to your downloads folder on your computer and you may have other things in there they may look a little bit different than this but you just need to find your downloads folder there's a shortcut on the left hand side most of the time and you'll see the pro plus updater.zip we want to drag that to the desktop or copy it to the desktop we're going to right click on Pro Plus Updater. It is a zip archive and we need to extract it. So there's an option here to extract all. It may say extract here. You also may have other programs on your computer that, to do this such as WinZip or 7-Zip. If you run into trouble you can try uninstalling WinZip and uh, if you don't see this option to extract all. You just want to click on extract all, leave the default location and make sure the box is checked that says to show the files are complete. It will pull all those files out of there, putting a folder on your desktop, and you'll see the Pro Plus Updater. You open that up, and you will double click on Setup. The rest of the files, you don't need to mess with those. Just the double click on the Setup. It'll ask if you want to run. You can click Run. You may or may not have to install some of these optional components. Just click Install. Depending on which ones you need to install, this may take a few minutes. Once it's done, you'll see the next screen asking you to install. Click Next. I accept the terms. Install. We'll give this a minute. This is the software that talks to the tool. It will put an icon on your desktop. And now you click OK and we're going to install the TPMS drivers and it will go through another process. We click Next. And we give it a second here. We'll install those. Now you'll click on a button that says Finish. And that's how you know you're done. We can close out of everything else. We can move any of the extra files to the trash recycle bin. We're going to double click on this new icon that we have here. And this is the software that talks to the tool. Uh, it'll say USB disconnected. Um, at this point, go ahead and connect the tool. It may have to install the drivers, but when it's done, it will no longer say USB disconnected. It will say USB connected, and it will ask you, do you want to download and update the tool to the latest version? Press update if you do. The software will download the file and start updating the tool. This takes a couple minutes. I'm going to fast forward this for time's sake. Uh, it'll go until it says 100% all the way. And then when it's done, you simply unplug the tool from the computer. And now we can plug in the OBD2 module. When you do, you'll see this little box. The first time you plug it in, it says installing device driver. We're going to give that a minute. It may take a couple minutes. 
We'll just give it a second. When it's done, the logo will change to OBD2 module. It'll ask you if you want to update. You simply just press the update button. This is much quicker to update the module. When it's all done, it'll tell you. Remove the device to update, to complete the update. So you just unplug it from the computer and you are all done. You have the latest version on your tool and the OBD2 module. If you get stuck, you can always give us a call on our tech support line at 1-800-438-3302.